All right, to the NBA, the bubble in Orlando where last year's number one overall draft pick has just left. The Pelicans say Zion Williamson left Orlando because of an urgent family medical matter. The team did also say that Zion does intend to rejoin the team, but no word yet on when that will take place based on this family situation. Here's the statement from Pelicans Vice President of Basketball Operations, David Griffin. He said, quote, we fully support Zion's decision to leave the NBA to be with his family. Out of respect for the Williamson family, we will have no further comment at this time, end quote. Malika Andrews joins us now live from inside the bubble in Orlando with more on Zion and Malika. The Pelicans and Jazz, they tip off the NBA's restart. They're the first game exactly two weeks from tonight. And right now, nobody knows how long Zion will be gone. Whenever he does return, though, what is the protocol that he must go through to rejoin his team? Sage, this should fall under the extenuating circumstances that the league wrote into their protocols, meaning that on the short end, Zion would quarantine for four days when he returns to campus, and on the long end, it would be 14. And what would decide whether it's 4 or 14 is if he is consistently tested every day while he is away from the team, and that's something that the NBA and the Pelicans would have to organize. If he returns a negative test for the duration of the time that he's gone every day, then he would only have to quarantine for four days upon return. If for some reason he isn't able to be tested every day, that's when you would see that longer absence since that longer quarantine upon returning to the bubble, which right now is his plan. Okay, and I know that you have attended multiple practices with Zion out there. Again, we all know his injury history. He missed the first 44 games of the season, came back for the last 19 before the shutdown. How did he look? From the people that I have talked to, he, they were excited to see Zion play. From the two practices I attended, he looked really good. Now, the first practice I saw him, you know, get up and down the court with his teammates a little bit. The second practice I attended, by the time I walked into the gym, he was sitting off to the sidelines while his teammates played five on five. But he did join them for the sprints at the end of the session. But by all accounts, Zion has been looking fairly good, especially considering the injuries earlier this season. Again, no word on when Zion will be back as he tends to a family matter, an urgent family matter. I know you'll keep us up to date on that. I also know you obtained, obtained a copy of a memo the, leg, the league sent out to some teams with protocol reminders. So many rules and regulations that all the players are trying to keep in mind as they're down there. Malika, what did that memo say? Yeah, Sage, so this memo was just reminding teams of some of the protocols that are incredibly important to remember, namely wearing a mask at all times when social distancing isn't possible. Also to remember to dress appropriately when walking to greet room service and to get food delivered to your room. Another one is just a reminder to maintain social distance when you're not playing basketball. And remember, Sage, walking around campus, these are some things that I've seen. It's not so much an intentional, willful disregard of the rules, but it's just people being people and sometimes forgetting that they need to be hyper vigilant. And what the league is doing here is trying to limit the amount of times that people have to call in anonymously because they can be checking themselves and making sure that they are following the rules before it gets to the point that someone else needs to call that hotline. Fascinating, though, even the little things like what you're wearing when you meet mm. people delivering food, the NBA keeping an eye on everything, as are you. Malika Andrews, thank you with the very latest. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.